That's the fourth dime from Lewis. And Aoka Lee may have just picked up her third personal with four plus minutes still to go here in the opening half. Well, I didn't see what precipitated that, but something has angered Aoka Lee. And they're going to go to the monitor to see if it should be elevated to more than just a common foul. Yeah, they're just calling a technical foul now on Jeff Mitty. This is a very heated contest with a lot of importance. You can see right there, Lee just slung uh, Queen Egbo down. Not good poise right now, obviously, by K-State. It's easy to get flustered in a situation like this, but Aoka Lee is such a great player, you don't like to see that happening. They will go to the monitor, see if there was anything more than a common foul on Lee. You mentioned there was a technical on her head coach. Well, we've seen Jeff Mitty many years. You see him there uh, getting after the officials. 15 years the head coach at TCU. Eighth year now as head coach at K-State. Obviously not happy. Yeah, we certainly appreciate Brian Garland coming over confirming what we relayed. Right now it's a common foul. They're seeing whether intentional or flagrant. Yeah, and they explained that they did call the technical foul on head coach Jeff Mitty. So Baylor will certainly have some opportunities for some free throws here. That's just the first team foul of the uh, second quarter. There, I, don't th I don't see anything uh, flagrant by that, that, that I don't know how they're going to view that there I don't know what other angle, angle we have but yeah, yeah that's uh I certainly don't want to see it as a flagrant it was an aggressive play she was trying hard to get position she's a great player she works hard to get what watch the right arm right, yeah. right there and even if there's yeah. not the kind of momentum to justify sending her cr crashing down the floor like that, even the high elbow itself, though, could be enough to have well, this es escalate. Yeah, it just depends on where this gets her. I, I don't no, I don't know if that was up considered in the head. This is tough. We've got a very experienced officiating crew looking at this. But, Either way, it's a big blow for K-State. Third yeah, foul third. on Lee, who's been limited to just two points. Minimal minutes on the court tonight. In a moment, we'll get the verdict. Well, that's the real sad part of this. Coach Mitty put her back in in the first half with two fouls. That goes against normal conventional wisdom of coaching to put a player back in with two fouls with that much time to go in the second quarter. But Jeff Mitty's been an outstanding coach for a long, long time, doing what he thinks is best for his team. So they're going to stay with the original call, common foul on Lee, technical foul on Mitty. It'll be Baylor's possession even after the free throws. Hey, no flagrant foul on the elbow at all. And that's the first miss from the charity stripe today for Baylor. Sarah Andrews at the line for Baylor. And Jamie Asbury at the line for Baylor, a very, very outstanding free throw shooter. She wouldn't be there, 84% on the year for Jamie Asbury. 19th all-time meeting in Waco. K-State has only left Waco with one victory in the first 18 affairs.